can you tell me what really happened with the explosion on the, the power plant? Did you already receive reports and from who? From a temporary military headquarters outside the Latvian capital of Riga, NATO officers are commanding the NATO response force. During exercise Steadfast Jazz, they're training the full spectrum of potential missions the NATO response force could face, from combat operations to humanitarian support or the protection of critical infrastructure. The, the main event that happened today is that we had an explosion in an uh, electric uh, power plant of Estonia and we are now finding out how much that has an impact on the lives of the Estonian people. So therefore I have to look at my engineer who is deciding how much power Estonia is going to lose by this explosion and if we can find power somewhere else from other countries. The Joint Operations Centre is where all the information from the field comes together and is distributed to the appropriate decision makers working in the command and control headquarters. One major takeaway from uh, this exercise is actually this multinationality environment working with different nations on the task that we mostly uh, do every day. But the exercise is actually all about being joined, working with the different nations, working with the different uh, uh, services for the one goal, for the same goal. As of 2014, NATO's High Readiness Response Force will be commanded from Allied Joint Force Command Brunsum in the Netherlands. Thank you for your support. Okay. All right. Thank you. There are several goals we want to achieve. First and foremost, I have to demonstrate that my headquarters is able to run joint operations. In other words, that I am able to command air, land, sea forces and also special forces and logistic troops. The second part is, and that is why the exercise this year is having a, a, this demonstration effect, it is combined with a live ex, with a live fire in Poland, whereby 20 nations exercise combat mission that is visible assurance, you can see it, uh, how capable they are. Steadfast Jazz involves around 6,000 troops and is the Alliance's largest exercise since 2006. All 28 NATO allies, as well as Finland, Sweden and Ukraine, are taking part in the exercise. Around 3,000 troops are participating in live exercise training and another 3,000 headquarters personnel are involved in a command and control drill. I'm Mike Mühlberger, reporting for the NATO Channel from Riga.